What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Tactical Pineapple, we're going to discuss Meta, the Metaverse, and what the fuck it is. Um, it's here folks. Welcome to the fucking Matrix. To get out of this rat hole. I want to get online. I need a computer. All right, real quick, before we get into Meta, the Metaverse, the Matrix, Mark Fuckerberg, and all the bullshit that's going on there, I would like to give you a quick update as today was opening statements and the beginning of the actual trial for Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, nothing extraordinary coming out of today. A uh, few takeaways really seems that the prosecution is underprepared for the case. Go figure. Um, they spent a lot of time actually reaching back to the defense for clarification on things, which probably doesn't look the greatest uh, to the jury. I'm just saying, seems as though you're a bit underprepared for your own case. Um, that being said, there were a couple standout-ish things, uh, notably cross-examination of the individual who purchased the firearm that they're saying is a straw purchase and whatever. Um, it was very interesting to find out that at no point was he told that the defense attorney wanted to speak to him by his own attorney. Um, he also claimed that he's standing there testifying um, without any thought or concern that he might get a deal out of it. So apparently, you know, everything we've learned about the judicial system goes out the window um, it, so we can lie about, you know, whether or not you're going to have a good standing if you prosecute or help prosecute your buddy. So uh, to the white Takashi 69 that testified today in the Rittenhouse case, good for you, sir. Way to go. You look like a fucking douchebag. Uh, but that is enough of the Kyle Rittenhouse case for today because, like I said, nothing extraordinary came out of it. Uh, bigger picture, Meta. What the fuck is Meta? You it's want to know what it is. It's everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window. When you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. It's Facebook. Why is Facebook now meta? Meta, whatever you want to call it. Well, number one, metadata is the underlying data that develops something. Um, in most cases, the metadata that's you know determined by Facebook to be valuable is everything that makes you you. Um, they are using machine learning already to determine who you are, the things you like, um, building a general profile of you. And uh, this lends itself very well for the next stage that they've been working on for more than a decade, or at least multiple companies have been, um, the metaverse. So there is a book called Snow Crash, if you are unfamiliar with it, go ahead and look it up. That is where the term metaverse really came from. Um, it is not the first time something like this has come up. Obviously, we have, we have seen it before with uh, Ready Player One most recently. Uh, we've seen it with The Matrix, um, obviously at number four that is coming out and then um, Snow Crasher there's been a couple other ones over the years where just basically an enslavement of the mind in virtual reality a digital construct that keeps you from understanding what's actually going on now some would say we've already reached that point with Facebook YouTube Twitter Instagram all these other social medias that 90% of people spend the majority of their time on but the metaverse or metaverse or whatever you want to call it is taking this to the next level. Um, it is 100% digital. 
It is 100% 3D meant to work in virtual reality or augmented reality um, to basically make, you know, in their eyes, things easier. So you can commute to work without commuting to work because your workspace will now be digital. Um, we've seen this over the last two years where everybody's kind of getting into this digital workspace. There's obviously jobs that cannot be done digitally. Um, that's always going to be the case. And for that, we're always going to need worker bees, uh, at least until the robots take over, right? Because <laughs> once the robots take over, it doesn't fucking matter. Now, some would say that Mark Zuckerberg himself looks like a fucking robot, especially when he's testifying to Congress. Uh, you know, just fucking doesn't blink, sits there, has the conversation, every once in a while takes a drink of water, and, you know, it's what it is. So, uh, I have to blink because I'm a fucking human. Apparently, he does not. So, regardless of that, they have now changed the Facebook name from Facebook to Meta. Uh, haven't seen it in the apps yet. There is a new logo that's out there. Um, basically looks like a left and right nut just waiting for a fucking shaft to be attached to it. So uh, I'm pretty sure as soon as the updates come through and you get the logo, the shaft is going straight up your fucking you-know-what. And uh, it, it is what it is. Um, people are going to take it hook, line, and sinker because uh, the phones we use today are our fucking virtual reality in and of itself. Um, but now they're, you know, Obviously, Facebook owns Oculus, so they've got the Rift. They've got VR. They're going to make it more affordable. They want VR in everybody's home. It's going to happen at some point, most likely. Uh, they want to shut people down. Uh, the next stage of this, the next step of this, obviously, is life sustainment via digitalis, basically. Um, how can we ensure that an individual is continuing to maintain and sustain life while inside of a digital universe, well, the Matrix kind of fucking figured that one out, right? Just fucking plug right into that motherfucker. Uh, whether it's actually going to happen that way or not, obviously we don't know. Um, but I would say here we are. The art has come out, and now life, as it often does, imitates art. And we are heading down a path that has been foretold. Now... Will it be all doom and gloom as it, you know, obviously is in most of these cases of entertainment purposes? Maybe, maybe not. Um, we know that humans are a parasite. Uh, if we task a computer to determine the best way to ensure human life sustains itself, uh, it would be basically putting human life into coma. Uh, you know, once in that state being driven and, and controlled by machines would be ideal because it eliminates the animalistic brain, it eliminates the parasitic leech that is the human from the planet, and uh, although it is sustaining our life, what life is there really? Uh, a digital one. <laughs> that's, that's exactly where we're heading, folks. So, um, I don't know what this is going to look like in 10 years. I don't know what this is going to look like in two months. Um, I know that there are plenty of companies out there now that the metaverse has really kind of come to the forefront that are talking about this. And interestingly enough, a lot of them have been talking about it for multiple, multiple months. Um, apparently Nike's been preparing for a metaverse for almost 10 months already. Go fucking figure. Um, Take it for what it is. Um, there are some heavy elite companies out there that are preparing for a future that they see will happen. Now, whether it actually does or this goes the way of Web 2.0, I don't know. You don't know. We'll never fucking know until we get there. But I will say that Facebook has committed with the transformation of Meta to what they say is a losing a shit ton of money in order to make this dream a reality. We know that anything this advanced coming forward will require a shit ton of money to be lost. Plain and simple. They're being honest about it. That means they're being serious about it. So uh, it is something to definitely watch. I don't trust Mark Fuckerberg to save my goddamn life. And uh, anything he puts his name behind is something that I will not trust ever. So just saying, 
do your due diligence as we're working our way through this social media craze and, and into this digital world that's meant to basically put us to sleep, uh, control the information that's being sent to us, and basically just make us all fucking cattle. Uh, it's hard to really be a person who's actually woke uh, seeing what's happening to other individuals all the way around them. So um, stay frosty, do what you got to do. And until the next video, folks, carry your pistols, but probably not the P320 for a little bit. Just saying, even though Biden hates them, uh, there's probably some reason to be safe. So, um, sorry. And I'm a sing guy. So, until the next video, folks.